After thoroughly unboxing and evaluating the Realme 10 and Realme 10 Pro, we know their capabilities and specifications. Both of these devices functioned admirably. For this reason, we thoroughly compared the two variants to determine which one is superior. Mabuhai Manila, welcome to Manila Shaker, and here is our comparison review of Realme 10 and Realme 10 Pro. Let's get right into it. First, let's speak about how they were built and designed. Nebula Blue is the color option for our Realme 10 Pro, whereas Clash White is the color option for our Realme 10. Polycarbonate is used in the construction of both smartphones, although the Realme 10 has a glossy finish while the Realme 10 Pro is matte. Both of them are more visually attractive because of their rounded corners. Each button is similar and strategically placed for maximum comfort. The power button doubles as a fingerprint reader, and the volume controls are on the right, while the nano SIM tray, which holds two SIM cards, and the specialized micro SD card slot are on the left. On the underside, you'll find the 3.5mm connector for headphones, the mic, the USB-C port, and the speaker grill. Although its rival is as lightweight, the Realme 10 is more convenient to carry due to its reduced weight. Both screens contain a hole in the corner for a selfie camera. To take a selfie, you'll need to look to the top left of the Realme 10, while the 10 Pro's front-facing camera is at the top middle. Regarding the screen, the Realme 10 boasts a taller 6.72-inch FHD plus IPS LCD than the standard 6.4-inch FHD plus Super AMOLED panel seen on the Realme 10. Also, the Realme 10 Pro's 120Hz refresh rate is significantly faster than the Realme 10's 90Hz refresh rate. Only the Realme 10 features a Corning Gorilla Glass 5 coating for its display. As we navigate their interface, we are treated to smooth animations. Both devices have stunning screens with vivid colors and sharp text while sporting nearly invisible chin bulges and minimal bezels. The Realme 10's camera has a punch hole cutout in the upper left corner, whereas the Realme 10 Pro has a punch hole camera in the top center of the display. In terms of photography, the two gadgets have the same dual camera design. Contrarily, the Realme 10's primary camera only boasts 50 megapixels, while the Realme 10 Pro's is 108 megapixels. They both have the same 2 megapixel depth sensor and 16 megapixel front facing camera. Today, we put the two gadgets' cameras to the test to see how they perform and what kind of results they produce. Alright, let's begin with the primary camera. Using the primary camera, we captured both sides in full color and high resolution. However, there was a sufficient amount of light in the photo taken with the Realme 10 Pro, and fortunately, each of them produced a decent photograph. Alright, here's another shot, and we'll have the same outcome as before. Both photographs had accurate colors. However, the Realme 10 shot was brighter, while the Realme 10 Pro managed to keep things from being too washed out. With the primary camera on both sides, the Realme 10 Pro takes the trophy thanks to its 108 megapixels primary camera. Let's move to the portrait mode, which demonstrates that the focus is as accurate as the statue of Iron Man's head bust and that there is a distinct distinction between the subject and the backdrop on both devices. Both of these gadgets did not allow for any blurriness to be present in the actual subject of the photograph. We notice the same thing as we move on to the following picture. Bokeh's effects were excellent on both the 10 and 10 Pro. In this example, our subject plant was sharply in focus, but the blurred backdrop enhanced rather than detracted the image. At this point, the two devices showed good performance. Both smartphones can provide good quality images even when very little light is available. While the Realme 10 Pro offers more enhanced color reproduction, neither of the devices produced a particularly brilliant shot. The following image demonstrates that both devices maintain usable visual quality. When we focus on the lamppost, however, we see that the Realme 10 has displayed excessive light exposure, while the Realme 10 Pro has reduced this to some extent. In the night mode feature, it's very clear that the Realme 10 Pro takes the crown. Let's put their 16-megapixel front-facing camera to the test now. Both gadgets demonstrated excellent pictures with improved color in the photographs. Since the Realme 10 and 10 Pro have sweetened the quality of the photo output, it is clear that both smartphones provide a filtered shot. The subsequent picture displayed an improved skin tone hue and a more polished self-portrait, very much like the one before it. 
The light received by both of these devices is kept in good condition, and it does not degrade the image quality. Both sides conquer the selfie camera department. In terms of video recording, Realme 10 and Realme 10 Pro offers 1080p at 60fps with OIS feature. Let's examine the hardware and software of these two gadgets. The Realme 10 operates on Android 12 OS with the company's previous generation Realme UA 3.0, while the Realme 10 Pro utilizes Android 13 OS with the company's cutting-edge Realme UI 4.0. Although today's evaluation is based on the same manufacturer, it uses a different chipset manufacturer. The Realme 10 is powered by a MediaTek Helio G99 processor, while the Realme 10 Pro is equipped with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 596 processor. Similar to a 6 nanometer process, they are indistinguishable. Our Realme 10 here has a higher 256 GB of internal storage than the Realme 10 Pro's 128 GB. Both devices have 8 GB of expandable RAM. According to chipset comparison, the Snapdragon 695 can outperform the MediaTek Helio G99. In addition to being 5G ready, the Snapdragon 695 also features a more recent implementation of DirectX 12. It only means that the Realme 10 Pro will have a smoother experience with video streaming and visually intensive videos. We carried out benchmark testing to bring these points to greater clarity. The findings of the two devices show that the Realme 10 Pro achieved a higher score in Antutu and Geekbench than the Realme 10, which can be observed by comparing the two datasets. Now, let's try them on gaming. After upgrading to their maximum graphics capabilities, we saw no latency or frame dips when playing FPS and MOBA on both smartphones, showing that it gives a decent gaming experience. Even if we increase the frame rate and improve the graphic quality, the game's fluidity will still be readily noticeable. You can play for longer without worrying about the battery dying, thanks to the 6 nanometers CPUs. Speaking of battery, both devices feature a massive 5,000 mAh battery with 33 watts of fast charging. The Realme 10 Pro can last up to almost 126 hours and thoroughly juice up its battery for around 56 minutes, while the Realme 10 can survive up to 125 hours and fill its battery in 58 minutes. Each of these mobile devices is a solid investment. However, the Realme 10 Pro is the best choice in terms of hardware. In addition to its improved processor and 5G readiness, the gadget also has a primary camera with 108 megapixels. The Realme 10 has a starting price of 12,999 pesos, while the Realme 10 Pro is priced at 16,999 pesos. Both smartphones performed exceptionally well in terms of their usefulness as a whole. While the Realme 10 Pro may perform better in certain respects, both phones are excellent choices. Thank you guys for watching, be sure to subscribe to be updated on our future content. Also, visit manilashaker.com for more tech news, reviews, and comparisons of the latest device. Once again, this is Manila Shaker and Mabuhai Manila.